Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I have one very fun list for you guys. And it only made sense that after the year of the button lock, 2022, it is time to start off 2023 with my list of my current best button locks of all time. Now, granted, with that being said, most of these button locks are from last year, and I was originally just going to make a video for the year 2022, but then I realized there was some pretty damn good button locks made in 2021 that I didn't want to neglect, so I thought, you know what, for just the extra few button locks that adds, let's just make a best of all time list. Those are always fun. Uh, and then I started to make the list, and then I wanted to obviously put everything from last to first, found out that was next to impossible because I'm terrible with decisions, and so many of these knives are so damn good and so equal. It didn't make sense. Like there was, like for example, the top five I have, you could make a case for any of them being number one or maybe not all of them, but at least the top three being the best. So what I did, instead of putting everything from last to first, I put them in tiers. So I took, I got 18 knives for you today and I took, I made three tiers that I, I, I was very comfortable with, I was confident in. And uh, I think this is a better way to do it because keep in mind, if the knife is on this list, it's a damn good knife. I'm not gonna present to you guys junk and call it one of the best button and lock knives of all time. So with that being said, let's get into it. Thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, follow my big forehead along, and uh, I will continue to bring you the content. One last thing I wanna throw in about this list before I get into it is you're not gonna see a lot of high-end button locks. Um, because Kaiser and Civivi and even another brand, they did such a good job with these budget button locks and button locks that are, you know, just north of a hundred bucks. There's very few premium button locks, premium button locks you're going to see on this list. There's a couple. Um, the rest of them are very affordable. Uh, so you'll see as we get through the list, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's start off with tier three and tier three only has three knives. These three knives are very good. Tier three is being the lowest. Tier two is middle. Tier one is obviously the best. Um, and tier three is still really good, but there's just a couple of things I would like to see refined with it. And first up is the CJRB Feldspar. Now, why is the Feldspar a tier three knife? Well, because I just love the Feldspar, so it had to be on this list. The Feldspar is one of my favorite budget knives of all time. And to make it a butt lock was just really, really cool. Um, now, the one thing that I don't exactly love about this knife, even though I'm actually fidgeting with it very, very well on camera and I look like uh, I know exactly what I'm doing, um, this is a little trickier button lock to get comfortable with. I think the actual button itself could be tuned a little better, but the overall fit and finish, this is, I believe this is a White Mountain Knives exclusive if if I'm correct in saying that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, um, but very nice micarta. Excellent blue pivot collar, and uh, just a, that, that CGRB blade, that, that Feldspar blade that I absolutely love. Love this blade shape, like that little choil. Um, overall, it's a very, very solid knife. Coming in at 60 bucks, 60 bucks, it's very, very, very hard to complain. With anything about this knife at 60 bucks, it's a great knife for $60. The problem is there's a lot of other knives in the 60 to $80 range that I think are a lot better than this. And that's surprising because this is a darn good knife. So very, very nice way to start off the list. And knowing that this is kind of towards the bottom of the barrel, we have quite the list to get through. But this right here is a CJRB Feldspar button lock. Next up on this tier three list is one that may surprise some people. This is the Kaiser Beg Lighter. This is the Beg Lighter 2 button lock. Now, I'm going to be very honest here. I don't know if every Kaiser Beg Lighter 2 should be in the tier three. They could very well be in tier two or maybe even tier one for some people. But this one, I have to admit, I got it as a bit of a lemon. Uh, there's very few Kaisers I get that I would consider a lemon out of the box, but this one had some issues. Uh, had some really bad lock stick, um, a lot worse than what I prefer, um, enough to where it was actually a problem even for me. And it just it, it just made a little more noise than I thought it should. The, the blade was a little off-centered. Um, I took it apart, put it back together, and it's it's a lot smoother now to where I really do enjoy it. And I also know Kaiser well enough as a brand to know that that's not the norm. I'm assuming there's a lot of people that have bought in this Kaiser Beglider 2 button lock and absolutely loved it. If you're one of those people, let me know in the comments. I would like to know that. 
Um, but mine was a little bit of a lemon. And you know what? I handle a lot of Kaisers. So to have one that's a lemon, that's going to happen from time to time. But again, this list is based off my personal experience. So basing it off my personal experience, I'm putting this in the tier three, meaning it's still good, but it had its issues. And, and that's really the only reason it's in this tier three. I do love the design of it though. It's just great ergos, great blade shape. Um, really nice full flat grind makes for a slicey little blade. And when I got them disassembling it and cleaning it and doing anything I needed to, pretty darn good action. So still worthy of being on this list. I think a lot of other people have had better experiences than me. The Kaiser Big Lighter 2 button lock. Next up here, we have our last one in tier three. And this one may surprise some people too. This, ooh, is the CJRB Lago. And if you heard that sound, that ooh, that was actually me trying to break the detent for the first time because this does have a rather stiff detent. I have said on record, I do like strong detents and I still like strong detents. The problem with this one is the button lock tension isn't, isn't ideal. I think they can use a little more recession around the button here or something to just make it a little easier to close that blade. And then there are some times when this blade is just kind of a beast to kick out and to where it's still easily doable, but I don't quite enjoy it as much as I do some of these other ones. Now, with that being said, I love the overall design of this knife. From an aesthetic and size and just shape standpoint, I love this choil. I love, 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 love the blade shape. And uh, just like the handle in general, it feels really good in hand, whether you're choked back or using that choil. Um, so from an ergonomic and design standpoint, it's a home run. Um, in terms of an action standpoint, it could use a little tweaking, but it's still good enough to be on the list. Coming in at anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks with Air, RPM9, and G10, uh, it's a nice offering from CJRB. And uh, one of the better offerings they've come out with, I wish CJRB, I would love to see CJRB take this, put it in the Artisan lineup and give it the premium edition. Uh, you know, work on that button lock tension a little and kind of refine that. That would be phenomenal. Now we're moving into tier two. And things, in my opinion, things get kicked up quite a notch here in tier two. Uh, to start off tier two, we have one of the older button locks. And I believe this was a late 2021 model. This is the CVV. I almost said CJRB. CVV Cogent. 14C 28N steel, G10 handle coming in at, what was that? 69 bucks. Excellent, excellent price for this. And this is still to date one of the best pure flipper button lock knives out there. There are a couple that are pure flippers that you're going to see later on in this list that are better than this, but there's not many. There's actually very few. Uh, the, the only thing that really kind of knocks this down for me is I really don't like that Savivi clip. And I'm not a big fan of the inner design on the handle. <clears throat> I would rather this either just be contoured or just not there, just be flat and chamfered. That would be cool. Uh, this doesn't really do much for me. Kind of brings it down a little for me. Again, just an aesthetic standpoint. From a blade standpoint, it's a laser beam of a blade. Very nice slicey blade with great budget steel in that 14C28N. Uh, and ergos that are pretty good. So this is still, even after uh, the test of time and all the competition that's come up against it throughout the year, um, it still holds its own and it's still a really damn good knife. The Civivi Cogent. Uh, next up here, we have our first, oh no, this is our second, we already had a Kaiser. Anyway, this here is the Kaiser Cormorant. Um, now, the model I have here is the Titanium Edition. What we're looking at is a blade of 20 CV steel with uh, titanium with a frag milling pattern. Uh, and it, this one is coming in where you can find it at, I believe, $179. Now, keep in mind, this really varies. A lot of the other cormorants will come in uh, for like $120, and they're still using S35VN with great action and that nice, unique, uh, really solid lockup. This is that design from Dr. EDC, where the plunge of the button goes all the way in the full bottom of the blade to where there's none of the button showing, so you have an extra secure lockup uh, that is very nice has a very, very reasonable amount of button stick. It's, it's, it's not a lot, it's very little. It's something that uh, doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, very nice and fidgety, a very nice hollow grind on this guy. You don't see a lot of good hollow grinds on budget knives and this is one of them. Really appreciate this and also just appreciate the fidget factor. Love that middle finger flick. Ironically, my least favorite deployment on this knife 
is the front flip that actually still works pretty good. Uh, just not my favorite front flipper, but a great flipper and an excellent middle finger flicker and just a good slicer and a damn good knife all around the Kaiser Cormorant in the tier two of best button locks ever. Next up, we have another Kaiser. Surprise, surprise. You're going to see a decent amount of Kaisers on here, but believe me, there's still a lot of other brands coming up. But this one here is the Kaiser Hiccup. And this is one of the more underrated button locks of all of 2022. What we have here is 154 CM steel, micarta handles, and a price tag of 82 bucks for this. Very nice little micarta. And what I really love about this are all the fidget options. You have a cutout, you have thumb studs, you have a front flipper, and then you uh, there's also another version of this that actually has a regular rear flipper, um, but this is the one I decided to stick with. Uh, really, really just enjoy this knife in general. It's a great size, great blade. Really like that blade shape, like that tip there. It's a nice, slicey, robust tip. And uh, it just looks good. It's a very unique looking knife, feels good in hand, and uh, very nice, very smooth butt lock action. Really enjoy this one, the Kaiser Hiccup. Uh, if you really like this knife too, keep in mind there is also a fat carbon version of this, which is absolutely sick. I uh, haven't been able to get my hands on that one yet, but that's a good one. Uh, next up here, we have Civivi jumping back into things with the Civivi Altus. This one here, uh, arguably my favorite Civivi button lock. It's tied right up there with another one that you'll see here very soon. Uh, but this is right up there with the original for me, actually. This is kind of like, I really look at this as Civivi's uh, contender to the original. And you guys know how much I love the original. Um, these two right here are very, very similar. Um, it does have some pros, but at the end of the day, I think it's just a hair behind the original. Boy, I love this. Uh, love the blade. Like I've said it before, it reminds, kind of reminds me of like a Ray Laconico blade design. It has nothing to do with Ray Laconico, but it makes me happy when I see something and it makes me think of Ray Laconico because he's just a phenomenal designer. Uh, this I believe is actually an in-house design. Uh, but we're looking at Nitro V Steel, G10 handles, and 72 bucks for this guy. Uh, not bad at all. And I really do like these kind of burgundy scales they have. I I'm a big fan of that, especially with the black wash blade. Really, really like what they did here. Just, again, could really do without that clip. Not a fan. But the knife in general, I'm a big fan of. It's fantastic. The Civivi Altus. Next up here, we have a uh, surprise, surprise, another Civivi. And this one here might surprise some people. This is the Civivi Conspirator. We are looking at Nitro V Steel, Micarta handles, and a total price of $79. Now, a lot of people think this should be in the tier one category. This is my only problem with the Conspirator is one, again, hate this clip. And two, I, I think, I feel like this could be better micarta on this. This is very mediocre micarta. Not bad, but not good. Um, I feel like Civivi could have done better there. So with some better micarta and a better clip, this knife would have 100% been a tier one knife. But for me, it's tier two, but it is very, very fidgety, very slicey blade. Love that high flat grind. The fuller, I'll say it, the fuller's perfect on this knife. Uh, love the length, the way it bites my nail, everything about it makes it very nice to fidget with. The flipper's great, nice jimping on the flipper. A phenomenal offering from Civivi, and uh, just a few tweaks could really make this a true home run, in my opinion. But it's good as it is. Very nice budget button lock, the Civivi Conspirator. Next up, we have a new brand, or at least the first time this brand is being seen in this video, and it is the Vostid Raccoon. Vostid made a lot of waves last year. Um, they had some great, great, great offerings at phenomenal prices, and they were different too. You had a couple that weren't button locks that you won't see on this video, but they were really good, the nightshade. And then this in general is just, I love the ergos on this. Love this 14C28N steel. You don't see a lot of 14C28N in this video. There's a couple, but not many. Um, an excellent EDC blade, high flat grind, slicey edge, nice tip. Um, the only thing that really kind of grinds my gears about this is the pocket clip placement. I wish it would just be brought all the way back to basically the end of the handle. That would be perfect. But even as is, it's still a really low profile clip. There are some pros to it. 
Um, but I would like to see that changed. But boy, oh boy, you get it in hand. And it's hard to complain too much about that clip. Excellent ergos. It has kind of a very smooth close. Uh, easy to middle finger flick, but it's like a little a little slower on the close. I don't dislike it, but it's one you got to get used to. You got to give it a little more wrist, but it goes in just nice and smooth and softly. Uh, very, very fun knife to fidget with, but it does take some getting used to. Uh, very nice lockup. Everything's good to go there and just an excellent blade in general. The Vosti Raccoon. Oh, and like I said, 14C28 at the price. 59 bucks on this. I believe they're sold out. Uh, but yeah, $59 for this is a phenomenal price. One of the best prices, one of the best value knives on this list for 59 bucks. It really is uh, extremely hard to beat. Might, might be impossible to beat. In terms of just materials and price, this may very well be the best value knife on the list. I gotta be honest. Uh, but it's still a great knife. It's on the tier two of this list. Uh, next up is another very underrated knife, and when I looked at this, I may not have given this knife enough respect to come uh, Knife of the Year Awards when I gave those out, but this here is the Kaiser Assassin XL. What you have here is a very nice size knife with a 154cm blade, micarta handle, phenomenal micarta at that. I mean, look at the grain, look at the finish on this micarta. So, so nice. All this for 80 bucks. And in terms of action, um, I would consider this perfect button lock action. Um, it is so nice. Very, very easy to close. It's a pure flipper, but it's, again, it's one of, I would easily put this in the top five in terms of just best pure flippers of all time. Might actually be in the top three. Um, it is so, so good. Very sturdy handle. It's slightly thicker than the rest. Um, nice and robust. You got a choil up there. It feels great in your hand. And it's just a bigger knife that I really, really like. Um, still available a lot of places. And one I'd highly recommend checking out if you haven't seen it yet. If you've handled the original Kaiser Assassin and you didn't like it, you thought it was too small, this is the answer in the most perfect way. Because I like this literally five times better than the original Kaiser Assassin button lock. You're not even going to see the original Kaiser Assassin button lock on this. Because it's just not quite my jam. It's, it's good. It's just not for me. Um, this one is for me. And it is fantastic. The Kaiser Assassin XL. Uh, next up here and last up in Tier 2. Uh, we have this guy right here. And this is another one. It could be tier one. Um, to be honest, I just, for everyday carry, for true everyday carry, it's it's a little boxy for me, but it's still one of the best button locks that came out in 2022. Love the Ergos on it. Like the 3V and the Chocolate Glacier Rich Light. This is a White Mountain Knives exclusive. And this is the Kaiser Towser K button lock. What you have here, as I said, 3V Rich Light and a price after using my code WSW10 to save 10% off. You're looking at 99 bucks. This is normally $109. You need to save 10 bucks off, bringing it right around 99 bucks for this. Uh, excellent middle finger flicking action. If you like middle finger flicking bigger knives with nice, stiff detents, not, not too stiff. What, what, I, what I mean by that is just you know you're breaking a detent when you kick this blade out and you feel it. It comes out with some force, and I really enjoy it. Nice, slicey blade. Um, it's the Towser K, guys. I mean, so many people love the Towser K. It's only made better in button lock form, and it's just one that is very, very hard to pass up. I believe there's still a few left. Someone tried telling me these are out of stock. The smaller one is out of stock. This is the full size. The full size, I looked at it yesterday at least, and it was still available. So hop on over there and check one out because they are bad ass. So, so good. Kaiser Towser K button lock. And now we are at tier one. My all-time favorite button locks ever are in this list. And we have seven. We got seven of them to take a look at. Let's get right to it. And let's start off with one of the best ever. This is the CJRB Pyrite. And specifically, specifically this model. This is the Kaiser, or the Kaiser. This is the Knife Center exclusive. The Knife Center exclusive uh, Pyrite with Aero RPM 9 steel, titanium bolster, black micarta, titanium clip, all that, all that for $73. $73. Bucks. Uh, this is 
this this rivals the raccoon. You could make a very strong case that this is a better value given the micarta and a slightly better micarta, but also the titanium involved with the clip. Um, I If I had to pick in terms of a better value and what I just purely enjoy, I would go with this specific model of the Pyrite over the Raccoon because it's just so good. It gives it kind of a premium feel. Love the ergos on this guy. Um, very sturdy lockup and a very sturdy blade. No blade play on this. Um, just a fantastic, fantastic offering. The best CGR bean knife ever made. I can easily say that hands down. Uh, by far the best model to ever come out of CGRB, and they really did nail this. And Knife Center deserves all the credit for coming out with such a phenomenal exclusive at such a great price. Um, these are not in stock right now, but you can pre-order them. And there's nothing wrong with pre-ordering them, guys. Get calmed down sometimes. Don't get so excited to have it the next day. Uh, some things are worth the wait. This is 100% worth the wait. Uh, and that is the Knife Center exclusive CGRB Pyrite with the first mention of Tier 1 on the best button locks of all time. And next up is a knife that's a very close contender to it. This here is the Kaiser Original. Now, of course, this version here has uh, fat carbon, it has an LMAX blade, and it's coming in at 180 bucks. But keep in mind, there is a blue million versions of the original. Um, they dip down into the $70, the 70-ish dollar range, all the way up to the 180-ish dollar range. Um, but what you get with the original is a smaller knife with an excellent size handle that just kind of disappears in the hand, but gives you a lot of blade to work with. Um, love the middle finger flick on this to just, uh, to just, it's right up there with the Altus. Really love middle finger flicking these and just fidgeting with it. Um, this one actually I need to lube. All my other originals I've carried a lot more. I haven't had this one nearly as long as my other ones. Um, but the action is still very smooth. Just needs a little touch of KPL. Um, love this knife, love the design, um, and it is easily, easily up there as one of the best button locks of all time. And I don't have one with me, um, but the Kaiser Original XL would also be a tier one knife since it's just a bigger version of something that's already amazing. Um, so I'll have both of them linked below. Uh, but yeah, this is one that you really, in my opinion, can't go wrong with. It's amazing, the Kaiser Original. Uh, next up, we have one other Kaiser. This is another Knife Center exclusive. Knife Center kills the exclusive, guys. I don't have any affiliation with Knife Center whatsoever, but I really wish a lot of other retailers would get as creative and, and good at their exclusives as, as Knife Center does because they really do come out with some banger exclusives. And this is just one example of them. 4V Steel, Linen Micarta, 120 bucks, And it's also using the same locking style as the Kaiser Corman, where you have a full lockup inside the bottom of the blade. So extra secure, extra stable, and uh, very, very smooth. The only issue I have with this knife, I really wish they would take care of it and just put some jimping on this stinking flipper tab. There's none, but... You don't really need it. Um, this light switch is so, so, so easily. I'm just so used. I'm, I naturally go to push button a flipper. I love push button, push buttoning flippers. I go to do that a lot. And with this one, it's a little harder. Sometimes I'll slip off. It's not because the detent's too hard. It's just because I put my finger at the wrong place. But you can always just light switch this guy. And it comes out like a breeze. And it's that timeless, iconic Ray Laconico design. This Gemini here, the actual design of the Gemini, is one of my all-time favorite EDC knife designs. It's true EDC, guys. Full flat grind, nice slicey blade, excellent length, great handle. Um, it's, it's everything awesome about the Gemini. And it has a deep carry clip. There's very few versions of the Gemini that has a deep carry clip as well. Um, so one extra little cherry on top here. Uh, but this is just a joy to carry and use and fidget with. It's excellent. The Kaiser Gemini button lock, a Knife Center exclusive. And these are still available. You can still get these and they'll be linked below. Um, but yeah, if you like Geminis and you like button locks, this is it. That is it. Okay, last Kaiser for the video, I promise. This is a very new one. This is the mini sheepdog button lock. And this is a very, this is the most unique feeling mini sheepdog out there to me. I've handled a lot of mini sheepdogs 
And the way that this blade closes when you go to when you go to just push that button in, it's almost I think I've said it before, it almost feels like there's a little magnet pulling the blade in. It's so, so damn good. Very, very, very smooth, um, nice, durable, full steel liner lock construction, which you don't have all the time with Rich Light models, and it really adds some really nice beefy stability to these to these rich light scales and i really like the rich light in general it's kind of like a gray stone look really like how that works with the stone washed blade and clip kaiser killed it with the stone wash on this very nice even stone wash looks just looks excellent 154 cm steel you can get this model right here when it's available it's actually out of stock but there's more coming don't worry i promise there's more coming uh, but 78 bucks for this. 78 bucks for Fidget Slicey Bliss. It's so, so good. Uh, highly, highly recommend this. Um, easily one of my favorite sheepdogs ever. This, this, and the um, the Refere Noble Mini Sheepdog are by far my two favorite. Um, great little ergos. It can be a it can be a regular carrier, it can be a fifth pocket carry. It's great, it's the mini sheepdog, and it's one of the best versions yet. You can also get an aluminum version for $96. It is also a button lock, so two phenomenal options, and I bet that aluminum version feels, ah, oh, the aluminum version might even feel better than this, I don't know. I'm gonna have to buy one and check it out because this one is great, so aluminum has to be just as good. The Kaiser mini sheepdog button lock. We are down to just three now, guys. We are at our last three, and, um, this one here was one of the bangers of 2022, and it is the Vosteed Thunderbird. And this, in terms of aesthetics, this is one of the most aesthetically pleasing knives I have seen in quite a while, especially at the price. For $129, you're getting S35VN and some very nice Topo G10 with a wire clip. And again, you have that uh, that Dr. EDC design where you have the extra secure solid lockup with the full plunge of the button going into the blade. And you just have a lot of smooth action. Super, super smooth. Front flipper works great. Middle finger flick works great. Flippers, breeze. Everything about this knife is super enjoyable. Ergos are fantastic. Um, this is one of the best. One of the best to ever come out. Um, Vosti really outdid themselves with this, and I really hope they're making more. I believe both of these mod both of these versions are sold out. There was a satin version, which you see here, and then there's also a black bladed green Tapo G10 version, and I believe that's also sold out. So I really hope I'm actually gonna look into it. I'm gonna check with Vosti. I really hope there's more of these coming because <clears throat> excuse me. I know there's a lot of people that want these, so um I really hope there's more coming. I'm confident there is, but I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, definitely keep your eyes open for this and keep your eyes on Vosti because they are doing some really good things. And I feel like they're just starting to scratch the surface. Uh, this year though is the Vosti Nightshade coming in, in the tier one. And then there were two, then there were two. I want to bring these two out together, but I won't. Um, I'll just bring out this one here first. This is the Protec Mordax and you know, there's some things about this knife that just hit every level for me. Um, for what you have here, you are seeing CPM Magna Cut, and not just any Magna Cut. We'll touch on that here in a second. Aluminum handles, $240, all made in America. And what really makes this Magna Cut so great is the heat treatment was done under the supervision of Laren Thomas. If you guys don't know who Laren Thomas is, uh, he's basically a steel genius. Um, I believe, I believe he was the one uh, that helped create Magna Cut. I, I really should know that. Um, I've had so many weird bits of knowledge and information thrown at me over the last year. It's kind of hard to keep it all straight, but I believe Laren Thomas was one of, if not the sole creator of Magna Cut. Um, let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong on that. I'm going to feel really stupid if I'm wrong, but I, I could have swore he was involved in the creation of Magna Cut. Um, so it's only natural that he works with Protec on the actual heat treatment. 
Uh, and so with that being said, you know it's going to be good. Protect does everything right to begin with. So it's no surprise that uh, Laren Thomas worked directly with him to get this steel on point. And what you have with this steel is very good edge retention, extreme corrosion resistance, and extreme toughness. And then on top of that, you add phenomenal flipping action, excellent detent, that ferrum forge design that is very, very good. And probably my favorite thing about this knife, my ultimate favorite thing about this knife is the fact that it's a very big knife. Not very big, but I mean, it's, it's good size. You're talking like a three and a half inch blade, um, but it's slim. It's a very slim knife. For, for the size of what it is overall, it feels very slim in the pocket, basically disappears in the pocket for me anyway. Um, carries like a dream and is just, just one of the best, one of the absolute best. Um, and really if I was putting all these knives in order, this knife would probably still be number two. It might be number one. It'd be very, very hard to pick between number two and number one. I do believe this one and the other knife would be number one and number two now. And based off everything I've said, you guys probably know what number one is. But number two is the Protac Mordax. And number one, or the last knife of tier one, is uh, one that a lot of people know. It's the Protec Malibu. Uh, with the Malibu, you are getting CPM 20 CV. There are regular aluminum scales, aluminum handle that Protec always provides. And you're looking at a price of $225 plus, depending on the version you buy. Um, why is the Malibu still arguably the best button lock knife out there because of this right here a perfect detent and i mean it's literally the definition of perfection when it comes to a button lock or really even just a flipper in general the detent's perfect the flipper's perfect the jimping is right where i want it in the perfect amount and style of jimping Love the action on this. It is just absolute buttery, dreamy, all the good embellishing words you want to use to describe the action of a flipper knife and a button lock knife you have in the Malibu. It, it really is still arguably the best one out there. Some people may, may be disappointed by that because, you know, I think sometimes we get caught up with the mindset of, oh, the newer is always the best. No, no, that is not the case. Not in this situation, because the Malibu is still, still probably the goat, in my opinion. Perfect pocket clip, not too long, all recessed, very comfortable handle. Um, it, man, it's just so damn good. So damn good. It's a lot easier to get a hold of now, too. You can actually find these things in stores. Um, sometimes it's just the premium versions that are a little more expensive, but you can still find the lesser expensive versions that start at $225 and then go up a little from there. Uh, but these are just phenomenal. It, it, do yourself a favor. If you want to try the best American-made button lock flipper, pure flipper, um, I do believe it is still probably the Protec Malibu. It's really hard to go wrong with it. Um, and that ends our list, guys. The best button lock knives of all time so far, at least as of right now. Um, I'm sure there's more coming. I really hope you guys enjoyed this list. Let me know what you think of it. Did I miss any? Did I have some in the wrong tiers? Let me know everything I want to hear from you. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.